Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sam Halo, and today I'm going to show you how to get 99 cooking from level 1. So a general introduction to the skill. Cooking is a skill based on cooking raw materials into consumables such as soup, fish, and potatoes that will give you some health whenever you're fighting stuff. If you burn your food, it becomes useless and untradeable. With that in mind, it is much safer bet to use a ranger or stove than a bare log because it drastically reduces the chances of you burning your food and making it useless. Before I get into some of the things you want to use to train, here are some good notable items to try and boost your experience or minimize your loss. First item you want to look at is cooking urns. Cooking urns take a small amount of the profits you make and give you a little bit of bonus experience once it's filled up. It teleports away and gives you a nice experience pop. Now these have to be handcrafted and to craft them you require the crafting levels of 2, 12, 36, 51, or 81. I would recommend getting them because it's just a little bit of extra experience without too much work. Second item you want to look at is the cooking gauntlets. They're earned after the family crest quest, which requires 40 crafting, 40 smithing, 40 mining, and 59 magic. And you will also have to go about killing a level 84 enemy, so it's probably not something you want to do off the bat. I'd actually save it for a point somewhere in the middle of going to 99 if you plan on doing it. Another thing you want to look at is the portable ranges, as they work kind of like a normal range where you won't burn your food, but also can be placed anywhere, specifically next to banks, where you can easily bank then cook your food. It also gives you a small amount of bonus experience, which is pretty good, seeing as you can take any boost you can get, it will make it so much faster in the long run. The portables are earned from the treasure hunter and can be bought on the grand exchange for around $35,000 for every five minutes. Since that isn't the greatest idea, there's a friends chat that gives you the location of some portables. Join the chat, portables, and ask where you can find a cooking range the guys there will happily tell you where. Another item you want to look at is the sous chef outfit. Now this is also learned from the treasure hunter and I debated about putting this on the guide because you really can't get it unless you buy the keys or do a bunch of quests. It requires a lot of luck to actually get and it's probably not worth it. If you have it I'd recommend wearing it get the additional experience. Full outfit you get 6% experience gain while you train. For levels 1 through 15 you're going to want to cook 74 shrimp. Uh, you also want to buy a bit more than 74 because some fish will burn and you don't get experience for it. Now, the cost of this is around 4,588 gold as of the time of recording this. If you don't have that kind of money just message me in game, go to another game and I will actually I'll pay for you to get level 15 cooking. Cooking 1 through 15 shouldn't take any longer than 10 minutes. For the 74 shrimp level 15 through 30 you want to cook around 143 trout once again calculate for those that you will burn so probably by 180 that will be 10,952 experience cost 4,000 gold around that at the time of recording and again if you don't have that money message me i'll pay for it shouldn't take longer than 10 minutes maybe around 10 minutes for level 30 to 35, or 30 to 55 as I would recommend, you can cook 1,267 tuna if you want to go for the 55, or 82 tuna for 35. The cost of 55 is 85,000, which is a lot more than 35 going for 5,500. Either way, still not too bad for how far you're going. Uh, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes if you're going to go for 35, no longer than 2 hours for 55. Honestly tuna is not that bad. Now if you have a ton of money and you just absolutely hate the cooking silly and you want it out of the way as soon as possible, you can do jugs of wine from level 35 to 99 immediately, getting you around 600,000 experience per hour. It's really fast, but it's also incredibly expensive and I absolutely do not recommend it in any way, shape, or form, but hey, it's there if you want it. For getting to 99 from 35, it will take 65,061 jugs of water and grapes. So you mix the grapes into the jugs of water, let it ferment, and then you should get an experience pop after a little bit. The cause of this at the time of recording is $131 million for the grapes, $39 million for the water, adding up to around $170 million total. That is a lot, so... Once again, if you don't have the money, don't do it, please, for the love of God. In no way am I buying this for you either. For level 55 to 84, you want to do lobsters. 
I want to cook 21,097. Some may burn, so this is around the time that you'll want to pick up the cooking gauntlets, maybe switch to portable ranges, get the bonus experience, make it go a bit quicker, less than the 21,000. Uh, it's 120 experience per fish. Cost sitting somewhere around the 3 million mark, but you can sell it back for around a loss of $800,000, so it's not too bad. For level 84 to 93, you want to cook Bonkfe. 25,296 fish for 84 to 93, 150 experience per fish. Shouldn't take ridiculous amounts of time. I mean, it will take a couple hours, but it shouldn't be a multi-day project. Level 93 to 99, you want to cook sharks. You want to cook 31,035 sharks. They won't burn if you're wearing the cooking gauntlets, so you should definitely get them if you don't have them. Then go to the portable ranges or normal ranges. Another manner to train cooking that you should note is training at the Citadel skill plots. Now in Citadel you have to be in a clan and for a cooking plot you have to be in a high level clan. I think it's tier 6. Don't quote me on that. But if you go there once a week you can cap. And it should be somewhere around like 300,000 experience if you get all your resources that you can at the cooking plot. Ask in the chat, hey do we have a cooking plot? If yes and you don't know where to go, ask someone if they're a nice clan, they'll probably help you. Once you have achieved 99 cooking, or even 120 if you're insane, you can go to the cooking guild south of the Grand Exchange, north of Gertrude's house, it's in Varric. Once there, you need a chef's hat to enter, unless you've completed the hard task for Varric. You go in, give the guy $99,000 for a normal cooking hood and cloak, or 120000 for the true mastery cape and hood. That's it for this guide. I hope it helped. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like, subscribe. If you didn't, dislike it. Tell me in the comments below how to improve, and I will try and make it better for you in the next video. Thank you for watching.